It's demo time on Daily Planet, and here to help us is Jeffrey Vinegar, the famous dancing scientist. Thanks, Dan. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. I expect some dancing at some point here. What are we doing? Not today, but I got a cool laser experiment today. I hope you will forgive me. There's no dancing, but there's still lots of cool well, stuff. Well, it's today. dancing photons. There you go. All right, I got three lasers with me today. You have some too. Oh. And this first one is just your standard red laser. Ah. You had one of these before? My first red laser was about 120 bucks. Yeah, so they've been around since 1980, and the price has, has come down a lot. You can now get these at like the dollar store. And yeah, I the know. next laser I have is this green laser. Mm. This has been around since about 2000, the year 2000, and it's actually, to us, it looks really bright. A lot brighter than the red one because our eye is 35 times more sensitive to green light ah, than to red light. That's cool. So it's brighter, it's a little cooler, and you can also shine it at stars, and the light actually scatters. So you can actually, well, we don't have any stars in here, but. No, there's a ceiling. But I can see the ceiling really well. Okay, what else? So it's kind of neat, but it's kind of not so much you can do with it. Now, the coolest one I brought is this laser. This is actually violet, which might not come across in the camera because cameras don't pick up this very well. Oh, yeah. But this violet light is the same kind used in a Blu-ray player. But, oh. But the funny thing is, it's not actually blue. It's violet. It's violet. You know what? That's close enough. I'm not yeah, going to I think them. violet player didn't sound as good as Blu-ray no, player. No, it sounds like violent. But to make it fair, when you shine the violet laser on white paper, it does glow, uh, it does fluoresce in this blue color. Yeah, it looks Violet, weird. blue, violet, blue. So oh, we, yeah. we see the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. But that's not the coolest thing that you can do with these new lasers. They've been around only for about two years. The purple ones are only two years old? Yeah, well, cheaply available for about two years. Oh, yeah, years. okay, okay. Keep going. So, okay, if we can bring the lights down in the studio just a little bit, I have this material, this glow-in-the-dark material, and I can take my laser. Is this like normal glow-in-the-dark paint that you would it's, buy for your It's room? exactly normal glow-in-the-dark paint. I just okay. painted it onto a piece of plastic, and I can take this, and I can actually draw. Oh, that's cool. On the glow-in-the-dark material. Neat. I can try to draw, like, uh... Um, a bat, for example. That's a terrible bat. But yeah, I want to hold it against okay, you. Well, you can try, too. Right, you can I'll take that a piece of black paper off there. Okay. And you can give it a try. There's my bat. There you go. I that's don't know if red. that's a bat. That's a bat's flight path. Yes, this is pretty neat. It's uh, yeah, simple, that's great. simple to do. And the way this is working is this material is phosphorescing. What that means, it's a fancy word, but it means it's absorbing this violet light, and it's slowly releasing light at a, at a longer wavelength. At Weak, a lower energy. Light. Yeah, lower energy light. And so that brings me to doing some experiments. So okay. I got a couple other lights here. Uh -huh. This here is a UV light, kind of like you know when you're in the dance club and you got yeah, some, some right. UV lights there. Yeah. So do you think it's going to work with UV light? Uh, yes, I do, because it's purple-ish, and so it's probably going to work. Well, let's see. Yes, it, it does. works. Absolutely. It's creepier somehow. <laughs> UV light is, has more energy than visible light. And so to make this glow, to make it phosphoresce, the light has to be stronger has to be more have more energy than green so all right ultraviolet is stronger than visible stronger than green and so it phosphoresces you got it okay right, one more this here is just a regular flashlight regular white light white light do you think it'll work uh it's probably got a little purple in it because it's a whole spectrum so yes give it a try just click the button there and i'll do it on that. yours just so we have a control right. here that is yeah it's working a bit it does work white light has all colors all colors of the visible spectrum in it, so there's a little bit of blue and violet in there. Now, the colors actually go, the energy of the colors actually goes in the order of the rainbow. You know, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, with yeah. red being the weakest and violet being the strongest. And we've been playing with the violet, so what happens with the red? Well, that's a very good question. Let's find out. Yeah. We're doing real science. Real right, science. Why don't, why don't you do it? Go ahead. Okay. I'll stand back. Um, uh, it, yeah, very slightly. Not, just a tiny bit, but it really doesn't light up. The yeah, way let me just does. show you the difference. Huge difference. So, really, the red, the actual red light oh, yeah. does not make this phosphoresce because red is weaker than it violet. Weaker. But these, this is a one dollar laser, and it doesn't only produce that one wavelength. It kind of leaks into the other, so it's slightly working because there's a very small amount of violet light and blue light actually in this. It's cheap So that makes cheap laser. the death of Obi-Wan Kenobi all the more tragic since he had the stronger of the two lightsabers. Yeah, exactly. You got Very it. Very sad. Thanks a lot, Jeffrey. Of course. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.